What is going on guys, Spasmatic here, back inside Destiny, and as you can tell, Lord Saladin has returned back in the tower, and Iron Banner has returned once again for the Taken King. So let's approach Lord Saladin here and see what he's brought for this week's Iron Banner. So for this week's Iron Banner, Lord Saladin has brought the chest piece, the gauntlets, the hand cannon, and the machine gun. So to start off for the chest piece as an intellect to spin roll, all the, um, Weapons and armor come at 280 attack and defense, and the chest piece comes with hand cannon ammo and shotgun ammo with solar recovery and solar armor. Pretty decent, not that bad. Shotgun and ammo is pretty good because a lot of people are going to be using shotguns inside Iron Banner this week. Hand cannons, I really don't think it's that great because, um, I don't know, pulse rifles are the new meta. So, on to the gauntlets this week. The Iron Companion Sleeve is also an intellect discipline roll. You get at rank 4. The chest piece you get at rank 3, the gauntlets you get at rank 4, and it has fastball, increased grenade throw, and hand cannon reload speed. But I think the um, the warlock gauntlets come with pulse rifle reload, so that's that. So the chest piece, like I said before, comes at rank 3, the gauntlets come at rank 4, and they're worth 40 legendary marks. So on to the hand cannon, Finale's Peril, comes with Relentless Tracker and Third Eye. Relentless Tracker, Third Eye, Hand Loaded, Small Bore, and Feather Mag. So this thing looks exactly like a Timmer's Lash, as you can tell, with a different name and new perks. Something to look forward for if you want to hit Rank 4. I'm sure this thing is pretty decent in the P in the uh, Crucible. Obviously, I haven't really tried it because I never used Timmer's Lash in Year 1, so I really don't know. I don't have any good thoughts on that. So for the Machine Gun, the Breto Mart's Stand has crowd control and spray and play which is actually a pretty good role for pvp and pve so this thing's got spray and play crowd control fitted stock hand light stock and reinforced barrel as long as accurized ballistics smart drift control and field choke so as you can tell this gun has the same looks as the jolder's hammer or the yolder's hammer whatever you want to call it so this thing was one of my favorites inside of year one i still actually have mine in my vault because it was such a good machine gun so it has pretty good rolls on it. I actually like the rolls on it. It's really good for PvP and PvE because of the roll it has. So onto the emblems. You obviously got some um, the emblems and the shaders. And obviously all the stuff comes at 280 attack and defense like I stated before. So onto the emblems now. Um, it's got iron. Oh, it's about the same ones. Iron pride and iron wood tree with million million and gold spiral. As you can tell in the shaders and the emblems, they actually have like a new perk to them, which is increased the amount of hand cannon ammunition you can carry. And I think this varies between the classes. I think Warlock and Titan could have like Scout or Auto, rif or auto Rifle or the Pulse Rifle. I do not know for sure, but I'm guessing that's what it's going to be like. So, which is a pretty cool addition to the Iron Banner things. So, onto the bounties, the weekly bounties, and the daily bounties. Obviously, the daily bounties are the grayish ones, and the weeklies are the orangish ones. So, you got Iron Gauntlet, Iron Marathon, Iron Versatility, Familiar Iron, Iron Domination, and Iron Huge. So, the daily ones obviously switch every day, and the weekly ones are here for the week. So, once you complete those, you get a bunch of legendary marks and um, rep for that. So... If you guys want to play Iron Banner this week, be sure to get a group of friends because Iron Banner this week is Clash instead of Control, which is something to be excited for because I actually am really hyped for Iron Banner Clash and I actually can't wait to do this because I feel like you can actually go in and play by yourself and actually win games now instead of relying on teammates to capture points when they actually never would. So if you guys enjoyed this week's Lord Saladin's inventory, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Back inside Destiny. Peace.